I find you have fights when you start raising kids. They're hard. They're hard. It's a, it's a tough task. It makes you ask the big questions in life. That's what I find. Why am I here? That's a big question. Why am I here? Usually when I ask that question, it's right after I enter the grocery store. <laughs> and I go, why am I here? And then I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, because my wife sent me here to get something, and I can't remember what it is. And I'm not gonna call and ask her because I am not making that phone call again. <laughs> Just load the gun that shoots ya. It's like, hey, you remember earlier when you sent me to the store? You do? Well, I don't. I was nodding and looking at you. Well, I guess I was pretending to listen. Well, can you answer me this? Did I drive or did you drop me off? Okay, then I will continue to look for my keys. I can't do that. So now I have to wander through the store, hope something jogs my lousy memory so I can remember what I agreed to buy while I was pretending to listen to her and it doesn't work, so I'll start guessing. I will buy $400 worth of guest groceries. A whole pile, and it never works every time. Come home, did you get the Spanish olives? Yeah. And then this is what I'll do. Oh, I forgot, which is a lie. You can't forget something you never heard. I don't even know what I need when I send myself to the store. I don't know. I think the breezeway just wipes my head clean. I'll come into the store, I'll walk right by the carts, because I don't need a cart. I'm just getting a, a few items, right? <laughs> Five minutes later, I'm in front of the donuts, loaded up to the chin like a looter. <laughs> I need a cart, basically. I'm trying to vote something off the island so donuts can come home with, and there is a time limit, because within minutes, this gallon of milk is gonna rip my fingers off. <laughs> And then people walk by and tell you about the existence of carts. Do you know there's carts in front? Oh, <laughs> yes, I know about what, like, I don't know what a cart is. Wow, a wheeled basket. Where did you get that? <laughs> Some genius. I'd flip you off right now, but then I would drop my bacon. <laughs> this is my favorite thing to do shopping. I'll go to the store, pay for my groceries, walk out without them. After an hour of shopping, I kind of forget what I've been doing. I see the cashier, you look like you could use a couple hundred dollars. There you go. <laughs> but it's fun, it's fun for everybody. So I'll get almost to the door and then the bag boy makes it fun. He'll hold up my groceries and say, hey, you forgot these, you might want these. <laughs> and then everyone laughs with them. Oh, silly man. And then I'm embarrassed. So I go, wow, what a weird day. It's not, it's normal. <laughs> That's none of their business. And it's fun. This was the funnest I had with this. I forgot the groceries like normal. I'm embarrassed, I get my groceries. I get almost back to the door, and then the bag boy, whole different tone of voice. Uh, sir, and your wallet and keys. <laughs> whole different tone. You know, it went from this is funny to this is a serious situation. <laughs> is this like a silver alert? Is that what they call it? <laughs> and he didn't wave them around either. It was very careful. He handed them about slow and like, no sudden movements, it, like he was feeding a carrot to a wild deer. Gonna, don't run, little buddy. There you go. And the people weren't laughing either now. They were looking at each other like, wow, we should not have been laughing at him. I did not know he was that dumb. And the produce manager knew. He was serious to him. He kind of came over slow. And then he kind of grabbed my arm and like, uh, are you here alone? alone, as in, who is watching him? Does he have a bracelet or ID or something? So, so he said, are you here alone? And uh, this was my response. <laughs> Which is the wrong response. And he, he grabbed harder and he said, uh, did you drive? And I'm like, yes, I drove alone and I'm fine, I'm okay. Can we help you out to your car? No, I don't want you to help me out to the car, okay? I'd, I don't want you out there when I can't. Fine, that... <laughs> so that's the last step. It's me in the parking lot with my Ford Fiesta keys in the air, just trying to use them to set off the alarm on my little Spanish party. <laughs>